Before starting the video, I would like to tell you about the iOS 15 release celebration from imiphone.com. You can win the 100% win lucky draw prizes, 60% off and best solution and 6-in-1 bundle sales and other coupon codes and many exciting offers. And you can participate with the two ways. You can share your thoughts with the hashtag imiphone iOS 15 celebration on any social media handles or you can buy any imiphone product to get the extra entries. You need to put your email ID and the order number and you can also check out the other products that having the 60% off that is the iMyphone Fix Pro and iMyphone Data Recovery Software Debug and iMyphone WhatsApp Transfers and also they have the buy one get five offer in that you will get the five products and also additional 40% off coupon available on the website. So don't forget to check the iMyphone iOS 15 celebration event from the description link. Alright let's continue today's topic. So in today's video we will check the jailbreak compatibility with the latest iOS 14.8 released by Apple yesterday night. So we will check everything in this video like it's supported by the checkpoint jailbreak or not and what are the changes like bug fixes and the security patch in the latest iOS 14.8 I have already updated on my iPhone SE first generation as you can see I am running on the latest 14.8 you can also get the latest update from the setting you have to just go to the journal and get the software update and you will get the latest 14.8 this whole security update is very important if you talk about the impact that can process a malicious crafted pdf file that may lead to the arbitrary code execution that our apple is aware to report in the latest 14.8 as well as in the web kit they have the processing the malicious crafted web content that will lead to the arbitrary code execution if you know about the pegasus spyware that may impact on the android as well as on the ios system so that's why this update can fix that malicious code that may lead to the arbitrary code execution and control on your device so you can fix that by updating to the ios 14.8 now let's move further to the jailbreak part. I will check the checkpoint compatibility with the latest iOS 14.8. The checkpoint will support only iPhone 5s to iPhone X. So 6s to iPhone X is supported by the 14.8. The latest checkpoint version that is the 0.12.4. So you can make the USB bootable. You just need to import the ISO file. I will give the links in the description of this ISO file. So you can easily do the process. I have shown this process so many times so I will just skip this part. If you want to watch the dedicated video on the checkpoint jailbreak windows method, you can check out the description link for that video. Now you need to go to your BIOS settings and select your USB stick. Now you will see the checkpoint boot screen. After that wait for it to get complete. Now the 0.12.4 is here. Now you need to connect your device. So first time you will connect you will see the iOS 14.8 is not supported. So for that you have to just go to the options. You need to allow the first option that is the allow untested iOS option and if you are on the A11 device like iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X you need to allow the skip A11 BPR check also. After that simply click on start. Now you need to put your device into the DFU mode so for that just follow the instruction on the screen. After that jailbreak will be completed. Now you can disconnect your device and open it and wait for the check -in loader to appear on your home screen. After that you can open it and easily install the Syria. Now we have successfully jailbreak our latest iOS 14.8 and you can see the check run is working perfectly and the CD is also installed. Now you can update the required packages you can just go to the change log and completely update the device. Now you can see everything is working fine. Now check run is the semi tethered jailbreak so if you reboot you will lose your jailbreak so you need to re jailbreak it again after every reboot. So for saving that you can watch this video and you can somehow keep your jailbreak status after the reboot. Now if you want to go back to your windows machine again just quit the check run app and on the terminal you have to type reboot and remove your usb stick and then you are ready to go so that's all for this video so until then goodbye take care and peace out